Hey everybody, Dinos here. Today I'm going to be bringing you the part 7 of my tutorial on how to build an electronic city. I wasn't planning initially on doing a part 7, but I had a pretty interesting discussion with a fan on one of the forums um, over at Simtropolis. Basically what the debate was on was whether you should keep these processor factories up and running. I actually did the math and crunched the numbers on it. Because your city is so small in this game, you've got to make the most of all the space that you have. Your processor factories, by keeping these up and running, you're making a net profit of about 74000 because you still have to import alloy and plastic to keep those up and running at you know full capacity. Whereas with the consumer electronics factory, if you just import the processors, you're making a net gain of about 315,000. These buildings are pretty much the same size, so it's a lot more efficient use of your space to just bulldoze the processor factory. I'm actually going to do that now. I'm going to turn off local deliveries so that these plants empty out and I get rid of this last remaining product. Now, of course, you've got to have a pretty substantial income built up already in order to do what I'm about to do. So, you need at least two, ideally, of the consumer electronics factories going already, so that you're over the two to three million mark. Because otherwise, uh, you just you just won't have enough backup capital for this hourly ticks and if you notice this is so low because I dropped all my taxes through the floor this is why I actually didn't need the Department of Finance because of the fact that later on in the game you don't need any taxes like I'm losing 54,000 an hour but overall I'm making 3 million for the day Taxing your people at that point just seems kind of greedy, you know? Alright, so there's those. I'm going to leave one open for now, just to make sure I don't run any problems with importing here. I can change some of these bays. Um, I have to get rid of this alloy too, so I'm actually going to start exporting alloy. It's kind of a shame I built up 300 units of it if I'm just going to get rid of it, but it'll be better for my town in the long run. My population's really gone up too, they love all these tax breaks. In fact, let's find my mayor's house, I probably have some upgrades by now. Nope, four more hours. See my approval rating, I'm at 84% right now. Um, it looks like people want a park and they're a little bit worried about crime. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at our crime bar here and see what I can do to fix that. So I have the police station here. I only have two crimes per day. Hmm. I'm not even sure where I would want to put this. I'm not seeing where our high crime areas are right now. It's like one over here. Robbery? Hmm. It's kind of interesting, it shows you what the crime is. The main thing with crime right now is that I just have a little bit too much traffic for my liking, so the police aren't as efficient as they could be. I'm not sure if adding um, the precinct, the more advanced building, would actually clean that up. See, because right now these guys, they're just gridlocked here, they can't get where they need to go. Hey Super, welcome to the video. Thanks for tuning in. Let's 
If you'll see here, I'm almost at that one that 200,000 mark, which is what I was eventually shooting for. But of course, with that many people, I also have a bit of sewage. We can go ahead and max that out right now. Water, we're still doing okay on. I'm worried about adding another water thing before I get all this, um, just so that I don't lose any population. That would suck to be that close. I've actually, this is the most amount of people I've ever had in a city before, so kind of excited about that. Here's another little chart too that's kind of interesting that I haven't talked about much. When you click on the government tab here, you can see what your density levels are. This is going to show you really how much growing room you have left in your city. A commercial I'm almost done with. Ideally you want to have these all as the dark blue because that means you're packing in the highest amount of people possible. Let's put down a guardhouse, there we go. And then people love it when you upgrade the mayor's house, it makes everybody really happy. I Look at all these little... oh, they just walked off the map. Bye bye, Sims. Oh, this is a really nice looking factory. It's tech level 3, so this is completely clean industry. Hey look, an electronics factory. I wonder what they're making in here. Better be working on those new Intel chips. Or that Radeon... 89.70 that I want. Maybe they'll sell it to me at a discount or wholesale. I think they'll wholesale that to me. I doubt it. These bastards. Um, so I'm still sitting on all this alloy right now. I'm trying to get rid of it, but I actually can't. I know one thing that'll help me get rid of it. I'm going to rezone these to plastic because right now I don't need any more alloy because I'm trying to I'm trying to clear all that off so I can start building TVs in fu at full power. So there we go. Now they'll get more plastic for me. I still have some traffic here though. I don't like traffic. But I guess that'll come when you've got a city this big. Almost at 200,000 now without the Department of Transportation. So I can't do the big giant buses. What are you guys even waiting for? Oh, people to do U-turns. Why are they doing U-turns? I'm actually going to do a quick little modification here. Uh, these delivery trucks are clogging up my city, I think. I want my resources to come in through the boat. I'll actually do the same modification over here. I don't want my imports coming in through um, through car. I want them to come in through this rail line or the the cargo ship or the rail line. Maybe that'll help with my traffic a little bit.
one thing you'll see me do too to finish off. Um, once I have my trading port set, once I get this switched over to processors and plastic, I can actually delete this trading headquarters. All, f all four of these buildings, once you have the services they provide, they're completely useless. They don't. Um, let me show you the maps here just to kind of prove that. They do employ a few people, but see these add-on buildings? These do nothing. These are just the biggest waste of space I've ever seen in my life. Same with our electronics headquarters down here. Look, 160 workers for all this space here. Get out of here. I think I'm actually going to go in right now and we'll take some of these out. These are costing me money too, that's the worst part. So what do these buildings do? What do we need from here? Okay, so my metals division. This doesn't need to be here. There's nobody working here. It's just a useless building. I won't need this one here soon, but I still have to do a little bit of rearranging, so I'm going to keep that here for now. Now we can rezone this residential. This should pop me over 200,000. Oh, these poor people don't have enough room. Sorry, guys. Nothing wrong with being a Whittle building. What's going on with my... Oh, here we go. Here comes the boat. Oh, that's probably why I forgot I left my TVs exporting. You always want to change this over to use locally when you don't have a ton built up because otherwise this cargo ship will come. It's probably gonna pick up like a thousand TVs. Yep, there it goes. One thousand TVs for this gigantic cargo ship. Oh man, that's why I don't have any resources. Okay, so I fixed that. That's okay for now. See, that cargo ship should have came here, and it should have gotten rid of all this damn alloy. Or given me some plastic, because now I'm out of resources. But no! Had to take 1,000 TVs. That would fit on a truck. And there we go, we've broke 200,000. You can check out my details tab here. Nobody's unemployed, so that's good. It's a couple unsatisfied shoppers, so I need probably some more... Um, actually looks like I could use more medium wealth shoppers because I have unsold goods here. Freight orders, yeah, I don't care about that. Um, oh, let's go check in on my university. I built that on the, the last video, but I didn't really do too much with it. As you can see, it's available for an upgrade again. This time, I'm going to put the School of Medicine here. I like this because it reduces the chance that Sims get sick, which lowers your need for... Um, like, lowers your need for hospital care. Which is always nice. What is this building right here? Why can't I click on that? Some kind of destroyed park and ride, but I can't bulldoze it. 
That's weird. See, right now I'm just trying to find a place to put this building. I think I can actually get rid of this park here. They're all going to hate me for that, but I think they'll like me more for the, the school. Oh, never mind, I can't even build it there. Sorry guys, I just bulldozed you for nothing. Oh well. Oh, bring another house here. I really have a lot more traffic than I care for, and a lot more than I've had on any of my other cities that I've built for electronics. I wish I had that transportation department so that I could build the bigger shuttle buses. Wonder how far off I am from that. I need 292,000 to do another city hall upgrade. Wow. No transportation coming for a while, guys. Sorry. Did I sell all this alloy yet? It's starting to get obnoxious. Usually the boats come a lot more often. My production's completely stalled right now. Come on, bring me something. I actually hope it's plastic. We really need plastic right now. Getting rid of the alloy is nice, but... Yep, they got rid of the alloy. Okay. That's fine, I guess. So now I can go ahead and bulldoze these storage lots. I'm going to lose a little bit of material here, but 20 tons of alloy when you have, you know, 10 million people is such a small concern and doesn't even register anymore. Okay, so we are fully equipped to import plastic, to import processors. This area is all set to do TVs. I don't need the trading headquarters for anything anymore. Goodbye. I've got all my lots set up the way I want them right now. And if something changes, I can always just rebuild it. So we're going to rezone this. Residential. And there's an interesting thing that happens here when you run low on oil, your power plants actually start running at lower capacity so that it doesn't burn it all up before, or maybe I'm just low altogether. Nope, there we go, just shot back up. Let's see if I can get an upgrade on here actually. Yep, there we go. 
I'm gonna need constant oil shipments here though which is going to become a slight problem if traffic persists in this area so eventually I need to switch over to nuclear but I don't know I just I don't have the room for it right now unfortunately I wish I did. I'm also going to need more water. This area back here is actually a really good spot to put it. None of these homes have enough room to be properly zoned. I don't know why that home got deleted. It's odd. rain too steep. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that'll solve my water, my sewage is taken care of, power is taken care of. The city is in gridlock. And again, if I had the, the public transportation, I could build uh, bigger buses, I could build a train that goes kind of around the city. I can't really add that on right now, but... Yeah, these guys are all stuck at low density right now. I can bump their wealth class up a bit though. Give them a nice happy little park. Not that one, that one's too big. There we go. They didn't even care about that. Wow. Jerks. Let's see if I build you a park again. Um. Okay, so everyone actually wants parks. So let's go ahead, let's do some parks for the people. This amphitheater is a really good building too. It's really big though. I don't know if I want to take out that much residential. I'd rather have something. I, I wish I could turn this building. EA, if you're watching, please let me turn this. I could put this right here and it wouldn't affect these buildings at all. I guess I'll just go with this one. And these should upgrade to high wealth now. Yep, there it goes. This guy shouldn't be too far behind him either. There's a lot of people down here protesting. Why are you guys all protesting? You all say you love me. Are they lying? No. They still love me. 86%. like our last upgrade is the sports car garage. Should I put it on top of all those people? Nah, I won't do that. I want to. There we go. Now I've got a new race car garage. I wonder if I can zoom in there. Nope. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I need... I've got a lot of TVs. I'm not sure why I'm only getting one cargo ship. I should be getting two different ships. I'm gonna turn this one off. So that it comes here. So I need plastic. I don't know what they don't get about that. I actually forgot I was going to, to rezone this to the bigger factory. Let's go ahead and do that now.
Alright, there we go. We've got our four factories now. This is... There's no real reason to build more than this. This is going to supply you with so much cash that you could pay for every city in your region, no matter how many, you know, how many connections you have. Even on that bigger map like Reflection Atoll, where there's seven cities linked together, you could do the funding for all of them. They could just be thousands in the red every day. It wouldn't matter. One thing you'll start to notice is that the ground is getting a little darker here. That's actually because these buildings, ironically, produce a lot of ground pollution. I would think the the factories would be really clean, um, but they're not. They're actually one of the dirtiest buildings that you can build. One way you can deal with this a little bit to keep your people healthy is on all these muddy looking areas. Use your parks tool. I'll get out of this map so you can actually see the trees. See all these trees that are coming up here? That helps take care of the ground pollution. The trees somehow through their nature, magic, whatever, they absorb the pollution in the ground. So I'm still only 34% of the way into my space center research. Research in this game takes a really long time. It doesn't seem to be affected by how many students you have though. Maybe they should put all these students to work. This guy should be high wealth too, I wonder why he's not. Of a park right next to him. <laughs> this is a busy, busy city. Gonna try adding a few more trucks here now. I took them out before. Um, oh, that's a cool little sign. This should have been the T, though. I don't know what this is doing in the middle. Really wish my plastic would get here. I'm gonna use these locally so I don't lose another cargo ship. It would be nice if you could designate like a priority system, do it a little bit more advanced, like um, like an order form. So you could say, hey, I want this cargo ship to pick up this many processors, and I want my trucks to sell this much plastic or something like that. Give the simulation a little more depth. Right now they just do it automatically, and the AI doesn't select very well what it should be doing. This is kind of a bummer. So I'm building up, I'm actually going, I'm trying to get 50,000 TVs here. I just kind of want to see how many I can sell in a single day, just for the fun of it. That'll be the ending of the video once I do that. I will be back with a part 8 for this video once my space center is completed. Just to kind of show you guys where the towns come from there, from there, how much money I have. May I see a rocket or two get to blast off. I think that would be pretty cool. 
it's like I said, I've never done the Space Center before. I did the Arcology. Um, it was kind of buggy. The population in the Arcology just matched what your city's population was for some reason. I'm putting more of these trucks down because I actually realized that the delivery trucks does still have to deliver the processors. That's why some of these guys are running out of resources. Oops. My bad guys, I'm sorry. My bad. Alright, here comes the fail boat. What's it bringing me this time? Got anything good in there? Probably not. Hooray! Plastic! What was that crane reaching for? It didn't even do anything. Wish I could name this boat. See, like that little name that should be on there? Bye bye boat. See you later. No. All right, that was fun. So population's booming, traffic is booming, money is booming. I wish traffic wasn't booming. Oh yeah, I can go ahead and delete this now too. Bye bye electronics headquarters, don't need you anymore. Put some more houses here. Might even be able to break 200 Made 230. That'd be pretty cool. There's a challenge by EA that's coming up here soon to be able to get over 250,000. Based on what I'm seeing here so far, I could pretty easily bulldoze some of these big services. Like, I could get rid of all this and zone it all for residential. That would easily put me uh, above the mark. One thing I'm doing here to kind of help the AI out a little bit, since I have lots of plastic now, I can actually adjust that so that I'm only importing the processors. Saying I have a garbage problem. Ooh, yeah, I'm not getting very much garbage picked up. I have lots of garbage trucks, though. They just got to start doing their thing a little better. So probably at midnight here, I'm going to do the big sell. Bring me processors. Nope, more plastic. See, why would it bring me more plastic? I already have 20,000 units and zero processors. I don't... I think production's going to get stalled again. If you actually click on the ele electronics tab right here, you can actually see um, if any of the buildings are out of a resource, they'll start blinking red. That can kind of help you determine where your problem's at. See right now my problems... Just, there's too many people here now. 
I don't have the public transit to deal with it. Everybody's still really happy though. Upgrade roads. Oh no, is that a medium density? <gasps> oh gosh. Oh gosh, that one was low density. I am the worst mayor in the world. Many mares have come before me, but I hold the title of worst. Still had low density roads in my city. Wow. I'm complaining about traffic. How many other areas did I miss like that, I wonder? Again, EA, if you're watching, please just give us a setting to upgrade all our roads to a certain density level. It's really absurd that you have to go through and click each individual road. Sometimes the roads are in like different segments too, if you don't build them as one continuous line. Ugh. Alright, let's see. What should I build next? Let's build a tennis court. That sounds kind of cool. Or a greenhouse. Yeah, a greenhouse fits right there in the middle. Looks kind of cool. Uh, there's no plants or anything growing in there. That's too bad. Maybe not yet, anyway. Hmm. These buildings are built really oddly. They should be combining, I would think. Hmm. I think maybe if I get rid of this road, they'll combine a little bit better. Oh, that's a lot of people, though. Sorry, people. Uh, there's the problem. This wasn't even zoned residential. There was like one little strip of commercial in there. Okay, these should all upgrade now. You do too have enough room. There's tons of room right there. See. I'm actually full on TVs right now. I forgot I still had this one uh, little processor factory, or er, processor storage facility right here. But I don't really want to rebuild the um, both pieces of the electronics headquarters again. Oh well. Normally your TV uh, count won't get that high. I just kind of want to see what I can do in a single day. I have a piece of rubble in this city somewhere. There it is. Yeah, that's gonna be a big building. I love the skyscrapers in this game. The graphics are really nice.
Yeah, the music is really calming in this game. I wish I could pl have it playing louder. Uh, EA actually, they have like, they don't like it when you... Um, when you have their music playing really loud on YouTube, they get upset. Alright, it's 11.30, so I'm going to go ahead and turn these on. And we're going to see how much we can sell here in one day. This should roll over here soon, so we've got a clean slate. Yep. One thing that's kind of nice too, even though this storage facility filled up, your factory can actually hold a certain number of televisions as well. Each one um, holds 4,000. So I've got a lot more inventory than this built up too. It's going to be really cool to see if I can sell it all. Let's make sure all my trains and everything are up and running. Ooh, that would have been bad. Okay, there we go. Oh, you can see that boat from really far away. Alright, here comes the train. See how much the train picks up. Better not pick up the processors. Oh, I swear I'll kill you. Eh, not bad. 10,000 TVs. That's pretty good for that one little train. Let's see what I'm bringing in here. Filling up my plastic. Okay, that's good. I had another delivery truck here. Maybe get through the gridlock. I doubt it though. Get my TV's gonna get filled right back up again really quick. Honk, honk. I'm sorry, that was unnecessary. if I can clear out this road. Nope. About this one. I could. It would not be very good though. I kind of need this square here so that my vehicles can turn around to get back to where they were going. There's another train just came by. I still haven't seen the boat yet though. Where's my boat at? Yeah, I think the, the cargo rail is a lot more efficient. It seems like it comes more often. They still don't see any sign of a boat. There's one. That looks like a cruise ship, though. I'm over 220,000 now. I wonder if there's anywhere I could take out to get to 250. It actually looks like I could dezone some commercial. Gosh, but this building looks so cool. Um, okay, so this little square right here 
This looks like I can rezone that. That's it's doing good, but it's not amazing. That'll give them a little bit more room to rezone too. Hopefully anyway. Wow, these guys are really packed in there. Can probably take this road out. Nah, too much change. How's this poor little guy still here? He is like completely walled in there. It's weird. Let's check a look. I'm at six million in the day in sales. I would be higher too if my trucks weren't all gridlocked. Honestly not sure what I can do about this. There's two hundred and thirty thousand. Probably D zone all of this. Make that residential. Putting more residential here too will kind of lower down the the traffic. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm running low on oil now. Here, um, I see the oil here too. That's always the worst part is when you when it's in plain sight, but you can't get to it. See another mansion upgrade available. All right, let's put that tennis court down. I want to see if you can see. The people out here playing, that'd be kind of cool. So I'm making, I've made 8 million for the day. Everywhere is out of processors, even though I have a ton in storage. In fact, I think I'm going to get rid of this factory here. I can't meet the the traffic demand right now. I don't want to lose that. There we go. So the TVs are all clear. Look at those houses, they spring right up. They're like vultures, these sims, I swear. No, I see the oil truck, it's right there. Let's keep the juice going. <laughs> Um, question on the stream about the mayor's mansion. Um, it really just makes your people a lot happier. For every upgrade you place down, it increases the... Let me hover over it. Yeah, it raises high wealth land value. So for every upgrade, it's raising the value of your land, making high wealth more and more attractive. But also, for every upgrade you put down, it ma it shoots out those little green smiley faces. It makes everybody really, really happy. Which is good. You always want to keep the people happy. And 
And it looks like I've finally sold down all my televisions. I've made 14 million today. I really feel like I could have made a lot more too. If I could have kept power um, and, pro and supplies to all these factories. But... I'm running five of them right now. Five is probably too many. I can probably keep taking these out to get down to like four or maybe even three would probably be enough to keep me completely in the green forever. So I've got tons of material built up. If you factor in the cost, what I had to import for processors puts me at about 11.5 million uh, in gross profit for the day. Still have a few more hours left too, that might even go up higher. Some of these places are still holding on to TVs. This place isn't even... It's not even on. It's annoying. I have excess power though. Why? That's one of the big flaws you run into oil. See, I don't have a barrel here, so this is actually going to die. Then I'm really going to be in trouble. Gosh, all these sims are going to hate me here, but I, ha I have to. I know, I'm sorry guys. Go get over it though. My university is still researching, it's still not done yet. Yeah, yeah, you want me to import oil. I would love to import oil. That is the easiest 2500 bucks of my life. Alright, that's about going to wrap it up. Um, one thing I actually I'll mention really quick. When you build this plant, make sure your worker education level is safe. You want to have, it's around the two to three hats is the minimum to run this. If you don't have that, your city's going to blow up. So, yeah. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. This has been DinosGG over here at YouTube.com slash DinosGG. Or you can also follow my stream over at Twitch. I'm at Twitch.tv slash DinosGG. Broadcast live in 1080p. This is also where I do my video recording at because I don't have the cash for extra hard drives to record it locally. Um, and Twitch takes care of all that for me, so they're awesome. Uh, if you like these videos too, uh, I'm going to be doing more. I'm planning on doing a casino town next, maybe after a quick break for a couple days. I had a lot of fun building this city. I'll probably be running a stream over on, I think, Wednesday, showing um, everything it's going to take to get the spaceport up and running, because I'd really like to have a video to show for what the spaceport eventually looks like. Um, I might trim down on some of these plants a little bit to get my population up. I bet I could easily get 250 with a little bit of redesign. So, all right, thanks again, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe too so that you get to see those casino towns as soon as they're up and available. So thanks again. Bye.